On the tube, Miranda drives her train through a red light. If I caused a delay, well, it's better than killing people. And it's crunch time for trainee driver Joe. I feel like lambs of slaughter. <laughs> At the beginning of last year, London Underground ran an ad campaign in Cosmopolitan magazine in a bid to attract more women drivers. 6,500 women applied, 116 got jobs. Joe Drummond is one of them. Um, I've got about two weeks left. I've got my road test, which is very similar to a sort of car test, on the 12th of August. It's like any test, you're really nervous, aren't you? And you can sort of like naff up on the day, but. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I won't naff up on the day and then I can get rid of them annoying IOs that keep coming in the cab with me and drive the train on my own. For the last five months, Joe has been learning to drive a 160-ton Northern Line train. If she passes her test, she'll be left in charge of a train of up to 1,000 passengers. What time are we? 53, yeah, it's 53. 53, yeah, that's it. It is 53. Today, Joe's having one of her final lessons before her test, and she's being taken out by operator instructor Dan East. He's helping her brush up on any last minute faults. On test day, Joe will have to drive a full eight hour shift, plus breaks. But today, she's just doing the run from Golders Green to Kennington. Smooth braking is one of the more difficult techniques to master. Right then, my dear, we're coming into Leicester Square now. Don't forget, it's quite a bendy short platform, so get on the brakes reasonably early again, that's it. Right, start breaking it down a little bit, that's it. The bend will scrub your speed off anyway, so. The only tiniest area we really need to brush up on a bit is the actual location of certain speed limits on the line, which Joe's definitely sussing out now, but it's been a long time, and it takes a long time to learn them all. You tend to, you know, forget, and then they just jump out at you before you know you've got to be doing 15 or something. Speed limit? A normal line speed limit. Or... No, speed limit for it. You're nearly doing it now. Once I get a bit of experience with the line, I'll know when to slow down and where certain signals are and what, you know, what signals to sort of watch out for and uh, yeah, but it'll come as experience. The Northern Line has got six different speed limits and more than 1,200 signals. Joe's covered most areas of training needed for her test, but she's never made a PA announcement and she may have to on exam day. Do a bit of PA training here if you want to do a bit of minor doors when you're ready to go, yeah? Try and be polite, Right. <laughs> I used to get the train to do that. I used to have to broadcast. I've never once made a PA. Not Part of the job, go on phone. I like, yeah, but it's on the, the thing. As long as I've used the broadcast when it's busy, what then I'm covering myself. Yeah, but what if it's broken? Well, if it's broken, then fair enough, but is it broken? <laughs> well, yeah, do is pick up the same minor doors. There's so much to take in and learn, because people just think you see a red or a green light, and you're pushing a little red handle and opening doors, and that's all your job is, but it's far from it. Joe's had to learn a, a hell of a lot, even before she actually touched the controls of the train. Joe spent 10 weeks in the classroom and the train depot, familiarizing herself with Northern Line stock and how to drive it, before she was allowed onto the line under supervision. Right then, Joe, Joe, we can't up the kit and just tell them we're terminating at Kennington. Take all your belongings with you. The next train south of Unplatform. Just to remind you, this train does in fact terminate the next station, which is Kennington. Please make sure that you take all your belongings with you when you leave the train. Once again, this train, train terminates here in Kennington. Thank you. Bravo. That's all right. What's the matter with that? Stop, 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 stop. I think, well, day by day, she's improving quite immensely, actually. She's been very well. Joe's had a good lesson. But will she remember it all on test day? Take it up at here. Oh, I'll catch you. I'll probably see you around the corner. All right. Yeah? Be good. Will do. Will do. And, and for once, remember everything I taught you. She's 
not a lot, so that should be hard to remember. Oi, easy, Tiger. Love you loads. Bye bye. Ta ta. Another Joe, Joe Brown, manages the train operators on the district line. It's one of the busiest lines on the network, carrying over 180 million passengers a year. Today, Joe suspects one of his female drivers has been involved in a signal incident. There's no service between here and Edgware Road due to a signal failure at High Street Kensington. Well, I've just heard that we've got um, signalling problems up at High Street Kensington. Um, I'm not 100% sure as to what the causes behind it are. Um, I mean, what I do know is it's going to cause hold-ups to the customers. Um, at present, I've got a feeling it's a uh, driver error, but I need to have that confirmed by speaking to the line controller. You get the circle line round, but there are delays on that as well. No, that's Because they were saying signal failure over the power at the station, which was a half-truth. <laughs> Driver failure. I've just established that it was a signal pass at Danger Pass that read up at High Street Kensington. Um, the driver's waiting for me up in the canteen, so I need to set the wheels in motion and go through the process with our ASAP. Miranda Sadgrove passed her test two years ago, and she's been driving district line trains ever since. This is the second time she's passed a signal at Danger. The points when I was just looking, shut the doors, went. Where's your, where's your um, high street west? Yeah. yeah, so you were out the way and you managed to cause all that grief, so that's a bit of a nightmare. Usually the points change and the signal goes green and you can pull out. The points changed. I was looking at the platform, mirrors and monitors, so I didn't, I didn't really check the signal. Shut the doors, pulled out and passed the signal and it was showing a red desk box. It's part of the job. It literally is part of the job. I used to be a bus driver. If you hit cars, that's part of the job. It's another downfall of the job. Every job has a positive and a negative side. Positive in this job is the salary. Negative is now and again. You have problems. A signal passed at danger, or SPAD as it's known, occurs when a train accidentally passes a red signal. Unlike the main line, London Underground have automatic train protection, which means that a train will be automatically forced to stop if it passes a red signal. Each spad is taken seriously, and Joe has to investigate the reasons behind Miranda's incident. We'll just do a quick fact-finding, um, find out what she perceives as being the reasons behind her passing a signal at danger. And, um, you know, we need to devise an action plan for us so that hopefully it won't happen in the future. Yeah. Sorry, Joe, I've been yeah. a bit of a No, 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 it's, it's fine, no, I mean, just trying to establish... Um, I was to I see stop the lights. ...where Planning Miranda is, precisely. <laughs> um, OK, so... Sorry. So, what is it? It was the points right in the front point, of you? Yeah, the points right in front of me changed. I heard the... looked. Right. And then I didn't really... I was just wanting to autopilot. Shut the doors, check the mirrors and win. As you just said, it wasn't a case of you going, I'm just going to wind up against a red signal because I feel like it. It was a case of the points through and you assumed that that also meant the signal had gone green. I was just in little planet Miranda. After 20 long weeks of hard slog, it's crunch time. Today, Joe will find out if she'll join the ranks of the 185 Northern Line train drivers based at Golders Green. At the moment, I'm feeling very nervous about today because it's my test. And I'm a bit all over the place. I'd probably lose my head if it wasn't screwed on today, to be quite honest. Yesterday, Joe sat her written test on railway regulations. She passed. Now she has to pass her practical. I feel like a lamb to the slaughter. <laughs> oh, Joe. Thank you. Quick, give me an head start. What train am I taking at? Oh, you've got a clue, mate. What do you mean? Uh, oh, you send Jerome. Yeah, you give us a piece of that paper. Yeah. Joe's examiner today is Jerome Doyle. There's a briefing, then basically she gets on the train, 
drives the train and is assessed on all aspects of it, taking the train to service, platform train interface issues, dealing with customers, handing over the train to another driver, stabling the train, basically everything a driver will do. Oh, oh, I'm yeah. nervous, see me alone. I can't eat or drink, I feel really sick. No, I feel sick. First, Jerome has to establish that Jo feels fit and happy to take the test. She's had time off for ill health, so there have been gaps in her training. I'm going. <laughs> I'm wanted in the back. <laughs> Got me orders. Are you happy enough to actually do the road test? Yeah. You're okay? Yeah. You know, bearing in mind, you know, you missed... You just had the. the I'm alright with my driver, I'm just a bit nervous with that raising that. Okay. So, run with that. Obviously, if I pass, it's a big boost because um, it means that um, I'm going to be earning loads of money <laughs> every month. And also, because it's something I wanted to do and I've worked so hard at it and I've had quite a lot of setbacks, and that it'll be good to get through it. She's got to take a train out and drive it properly with hundreds upon hundreds of people on it. Uh, it's not something you just stroll in and take up lightly. You want to make sure everything's right. The test involves two four-hour blocks of driving, the first in daylight, the second from dusk to dark, to test her in various conditions. First of all, she'll be taking a train out of the depot. That's a good start, wasn't it, eh? <laughs> Dropping me key light. <laughs> we don't ask any questions while she's actually driving. Um, but she's being assessed on all aspects of her driving. So, more complicated, it's more in depth. She's got to cover the majority of the line. There's a lot of pressure on them. Because ultimately, if they don't pass this, they don't drive a train in service on their own tomorrow. Um, they don't have a license. If Joe doesn't pass today, she'll be sent back out with instructors until she's ready to have another go. But before she finds out, she's got a lot of driving to do. 36 miles on the Northern Line. <laughs> 